In my last video, I talked about the best Sabre metric to evaluate pitchers. Today, I'm going to be talking about the best Sabre metric to evaluate all baseball players. The statistic will fairly evaluate all players equally, from starting pitchers, to relievers, to great hitters who can't field, and great defenders who can't hit. The statistic is called WAR, which stands for Wins Above Replacement, and it primarily shows the value that each player brings to their respected team. Unlike FIP from the last video, WAR has actually become pretty well known amongst the baseball community. More teams have begun to understand its value, and it's being taken into consideration when voting for honors such as the Hall of Fame and yearly awards such as the MVP and Cy Young Award. Breaking it down even further, WAR shows how many more wins a player can provide over a replacement level player. But who is a replacement level player? Many people think that a replacement level player is an average MLB player. This is not the case. Think of it this way. If a player on your favorite team got injured, a replacement level player would be the guy who comes in to fill their spot. A replacement level player can also be estimated as a minor leaguer or a borderline major leaguer. So let's look at the scoring of war. Each year, every player in Major League Baseball starts with a war score of zero because that's what the expectation would be of a replacement level player. This means that the major league average for war is actually higher than zero. It is possible for a player to have a negative war, which would mean that they're hurting their team just by being out on the field. Here is a chart from Fangraphs describing the scoring tiers of war. As you can see, the MLB average is around two. Anything below is poor, and a war score of 6 or higher means that that player is performing at an MVP type level. In many sporting leagues, including the MLB, the most valuable player award is often given to someone who has the best statistics or is the best player on a great team. The war statistic is a great way to show just how valuable a player is to their team no matter who they play for. If we correlate the war grading score to the performance of some of the recent MVPs in Major League Baseball, you can see that this scale works pretty well. Since it was the last regular season to include a full 162 game schedule, let's take a look at the MVPs of 2019. In the National League, the MVP award went to Cody Bellinger of the Los Angeles Dodgers. On paper, Bellinger definitely fits the narrative of being the best player on the best team. Many people believe that Christian Yelich of the Milwaukee Brewers was more deserving of the honor since he had a higher batting average, slugging percentage, and OPS. While this is a valid point, Cody Bellinger scored 8.7 wins above replacement in 2019, which was the most in the National League, and almost two more than Yelich had. This gap shows how much better Bellinger was on the defensive side of the ball, despite not hitting quite as well as Yelich. This is also a good reminder that the MVP trophy is awarded to the best overall player in each league, not the best hitter. In the American League, Mike Trout took home his third MVP in 2019. Now Mike Trout can kind of be seen as a god of war. He always thrives in the war statistic because he does everything from being one of the league's best bats, gloves, and base runners. His play has landed him in the top 10 for war every year from 2012 to 2019. In that span, he had the highest war in the league three times. In fact, Trout's 7.8 war in 2019, which was good enough to win MVP, was only the sixth highest number he has scored for a single season in his career. To further explain how consistently dominant Trout has been using the war statistic, Let's take a look at where he ranks with some of the all-time greats. In his age 29 season, Mike Trout currently has a career war of 76.2. This number is already higher than Hall of Famers such as Derek Jeter, Tony Gwynn, and Frank Thomas. The all-time record for war is held by Babe Ruth at 182.5. But Ruth's number is so much higher because he was racking up war as both a pitcher and a hitter. Now while Ruth's number may be out of reach for Trout, he will still likely end up in the top 10 for the statistic with the likes of Willie Mays, 
Ty Cobb, and Hank Aaron. Butler goes back to the fan city car. When looking up your favorite player's war statistic, you may see different letters in front or behind of war, like F-War, for example. All those letters will tell you is which site calculated the statistic. For example, F-War would be from Fangraphs, R-Warp would be from Baseball Reference, and Warp, or W-A-R-P, would be calculated on Baseball Prospectus. Each site calculates war a bit differently, but they all come out to similar conclusions in the end. I'll leave the links to all of these sites in the video's description so you can take a look at your favorite player's war for yourself. If you have any sabermetrics or statistics you would like me to break down or explain, feel free to leave a comment and thanks for stopping by.